Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Last week I posted a video on Windows 11 update KB5012592 and Windows 10 update KB5012599 that were causing issues for some users in web browsers like Chrome Edge and Firefox. Now since posting that video last week, which I will leave a link to down below if you are interested, there are more user reports and feedback coming in now. Uh, regarding issues uh, in particular with Windows 11 update KB5012592 that after installing the update some users are reporting that um, they are uh, getting a blank taskbar in Windows 11 where there are no icons in, found in the taskbar whatsoever. Wi-Fi issues like slow internet connection, performance issues like stuttering, uh, browser crashes as I did post on previously and that the update 5012592 is failing to install completely. So what I thought I'd do in this video as I do get asked frequently on this channel on how to resolve certain update issues is I thought I'd just do a quick video on some things you can try that in my experience should and could possibly resolve issues that you are experiencing after installing an update on both Windows 10 and 11. Now this is by no means a comprehensive list and most of these uh, features, um, if you do not know where they are found um, in Windows 10 and 11, you can just do a search for any of the features and options which will take you to the relevant feature and option um, that I'm speaking about in this video today. Now the first thing I always suggest is to restart your system as this will flush the cache, clear the memory and should resolve any minor issues uh, in the operating system. Another thing you can try is to run a disk cleanup um, that will clean out any uh, temporary files uh, that could be causing any issues um, on your system. And then you can always try the update tr uh, troubleshooter where um, you just head in both Windows 10 and 11, just head to your settings menu and head to your system and just find troubleshoot and go to other troubleshooters and you run the Windows Update troubleshooter, let it complete. And if you have any internet connections, you can run the internet connections troubleshooter. And something else you can try is, believe it or not, you can head over to the Microsoft Store and make sure that all your apps are up to date because I found uh, that a lot of the default apps that rolled out um, in Windows 10 and 11 that cannot be uninstalled, um, if these are corrupt or, or out of date, they can cause issues with um, Windows updates. So make sure all your apps are up to date. And then um, something else you can try, and I do suggest quite frequently on this channel, and I posted a video on this quite a while back, but just to summarize very quickly, is to head to Command Prompt, right-click on it, run as, a, as ad administrator, and at the prompt enter SFC space forward slash scan now. And what this will do when you hit enter is it will check your uh, system for any corrupt or damaged system files. And if it does find any uh, damaged or corrupt files, it will um, tell you that it has found those files and it has repaired them. And if it doesn't find any uh, corrupt or damaged files, it will give you a, a, a message that will show up saying um, no memory integrity violations were found or something similar to that, then you know all is okay. And I do suggest this quite often on this channel. And this, in my experience, does resolve a lot of general issues in both Windows 10 and 11 if you are experiencing any issues. But just be aware that the larger your system, this could take quite a while to run. So it's just be patient and let the SFC scan now run. And if it finds any issues, it will repair those automatically in most cases. And then something else you can try is head over uh, to your C drive or the drive where your Windows operating system is installed on. Uh, go to your Windows folder and just um, click on any UAC user account control prompts. Just click on OK. Head to software distribution. And this is where all the uh, temporary files and files for Windows update um, are installed and are kept on your system. Mainly temporary files and delete everything in the software distribution folder and then reboot your system. And on the reboot, it will rebuild all the databases and will uh, re uh, rebuild these uh, files and these folders, which should and could possibly resolve any issues. And then if you have any Wi-Fi or internet connection issues, um, what I also suggest is, which is uh, quite a basic, um, which would be quite basic, is just to uh, 
turn your Wi-Fi on and off, see if that resolves the issue. Or if we just head back to our system and go to Network and Internet and Advanced Network Settings, just for your Ethernet or your Wi-Fi, however you are in, uh, connected to the Internet, just disable uh, uh, the, the Ethernet or the Wi-Fi, uh, count a couple of seconds and then enable it again and that could possibly resolve any issues. And then obviously um, it goes without saying that make sure your drivers are up to date for your um, your Wi-Fi card and your, your Ethernet because out of date drivers can be an issue that could cause problems in that area. And then something else which I have found to work for general Wi-Fi issues uh, in my experience um, over the last uh, couple of years is just to go to um, your command prompt again run it as administrator and enter these commands rpconfig flush dns rpconfig register dns rpconfig release rpconfig renew and i will leave these commands down below for you to copy and paste and this i have found in general and um, not all the time but in most cases should resolve most um, um, issues regarding um, uh, um, wi-fi that is not connecting or ethernet that is not connecting or just general issues uh, in general so um, I will leave these commands down below for easier reference. And then, um, um, obviously, a system restore. If, if, if you're finding that none of these options are working, you can always uh, just head to About System Protection and find your system restore. Or you can just do a search for it, create a restore point. And you can click on System Restore, go to an earlier date um, before the issue um, uh, uh, you know, was before the issue was there and just restore your system and just be aware though that this could take a little while and obviously your whole system will have to reboot to do a system restore and then if we just head back to windows updates then as a especially you know i don't recommend this really with security updates but if browsers are crashing and your system is inoperable then uninstall the update so just head to um your uh, update history uh, in Windows Update and you just go to uninstall updates and this will take you to the legacy control panel and you just find the relevant update in this case KB5012592 click on it click on uninstall uh, re follow the prompts restart your device and um, that should resolve the issue and then just make sure though once you have um, you have uh, uninstalled the update to pause the update if you are having any issues so uh, if we just go back to Windows Update quickly, just pause the update um, as long as you can. You, uh, in Windows, you can you can you can um, pause it up to four weeks. So just pause the update, as it if especially with the cumulative patch Tuesday updates, those will install automatically. So just pause the update until the next update rolls out. So that's a couple of things you can try. I know I went through these quickly as I didn't want the video to be too long and drawn out, but those are some um, uh, solutions you can try. Uh, that could possibly, and in my experience, um, could possibly resolve any issues um, with um, updates that have caused issues in your operating system after installing them. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.